next day. The internet is no help after all. I finish up my research in the office and mutter to myself in frustration as I head out. There may be plenty of information online, but search for how to kill the recoil of a cannon made from a pair of fract uh, fractalized chimneys. Fractalized? I don't know. I probably mispronounced that, but whatever. Keep it on, keep on keeping on. Gives an absolutely zero results. Well, the laboratory should be spying on me from somewhere, so I usually try to avoid usual, using terms like fractalium and fractalization. Laboratory, huh? Lab where my mom and dad worked was researching space energy. And back to the censoring. I was, I'm really hoping at this point that at a certain extent I would not have to worry too much about the censoring because every single time I censor, it always makes me freak out, thinking like, oh god, is my channel gonna be shut down on this particular episode? I don't think my channel is big enough to actually be noticed by this kind of things, but still makes me a little bit unnerved and makes me also uh, start writing down notes on when I should be censoring. I probably should go ahead and make a, some sort of like a. I usually make mental notes, but I realize I should probably start writing down when throughout which point in the recording there was a sensor needed just let me go ahead and write it down here we go all right i'll keep i'll keep i'll keep a list working here <laughs> just to keep just to keep make sure that i have the memory of when to censor miss canade the angel beltiel is also affiliated with them should i try asking the angel about my parents accident when we confronted her earlier earlier I came to the conclusion that it'd be better not to ask her, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. No. All right now I need to focus on returning our to space. There'll be plenty of time for other things afterwards. <laughs> Hi, Kumiku. Someone's humming? Is it Kumiku again? I often hear Kumiko humming to herself while we were working, but it's unusual for her to do it during a break. Intrigued, I look around for the source of the sound. Oh! 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 Well then! Well then! <laughs> what a lovely view we got here! Hello! Kumiko already seems uh, seemed in usually good mood today, so this is what she was up to. I'm not going to bother getting angry or even annoyed. I'm actually kind of impressed. I'm not sure if she's doing this on a whim or if she planned it all out, but that inventiveness of hers can be genuinely impressive at times. I wonder where she got that kitty pool from, though. <laughs> Can't help but to check her out, can he? And also, wouldn't she be a little more decent? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, okay, well, look, there's nothing there, okay, game? Please do not focus on any part any part of a body in particular, please. I do not want my channel shut down. Oh no, I don't think it's, I don't think we have to censor, but, oh. Don't focus, don't focus down on the crotch like that, please. <sighs> I mean, it is a heavenly side, sure. <laughs> hey, Kumiko. <laughs> Can't seem to hear, I guess she's listening to music. Apparently she hasn't noticed me at all. <sighs> I guess that leaves me no choice. Pull up one side of her headphones. Kumiko. I've been calling for you, Kumiko, you know? She often wears her headphones during work as well. I did give her permission to do that though. A regular have a trip. Uh, have to rip the headphones right off her ears in order to talk to her. It rarely surprises her anymore, but looks like she really was off in her own little world this time. Well, that certainly looks refreshing. I mean, sarcastic. I mean, she does look good in it. Not gonna lie. <laughs> And get what are you saying? Is it really worth it though, changing outfits for a short lunch break? True. You already seem pretty fired up to me. Oh well, I'm the only one around here, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> 
Suki da yo. Nah, I just I just give it up on you, that's all. So sune nai no. Hara, Joshi no Mizugi Sugata o Doksen de so Tosen o Savari Kinshi da kedo Miru no wai yo. Well, she knows how to work her charms, that's for sure. <laughs> God damn. She wriggles her legs in a strange effort to demonstrate her sex appeal. Oh, thanks for that wonderful privilege. <laughs> to ogle a fantasize. Thank you, Kumiko. Fantasize about you, huh? <laughs> Hmm. Kimiko seems bored. But really, I've been trying to avert my eyes the entire time. She may not realize it herself, but she's on a verge of a pretty serious wardrobe malfunction. Oh, God. Look at her face. Her face immediately changes. Immediately. <laughs> oh, that's why I like her. I like her. She just she just relax and chill, but she knows how to get pervy every now and then. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. Here's a go braless of work anyway. This isn't anyone you're as sexy, actually. Oh, that's right. Kei-ji was a noble shirt. I'm not to God damn it. <laughs> hmm. Oops. Did I just dig my own grave? It's not like Kumiko. It's not like Kumiko to zero in on a weak point of mine like that. <sighs> Actually, I love boobs. I love legs. I love butts. I love girls' upper arms. Swimsuits are the best. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what kind of reaction is that? Are you happy now? Oh, he's been sarcastic. それにそういうことを言う場合本命はあえて避けるっていうよねということはズバリ耳フェチだ。ear Sometimes I'm seriously, well, I mean, people have all kinds of fetishes, so I guess it wouldn't be surprising. Sometimes I'm seriously impressed by how se seamlessly you slip into making fun of me. Well, as long as you're in an outfit, there's no way I'm going to keep up with you. You're on a whole other level. Really? And that is? <laughs> There's a reason? A logical one? He's trying to... Wait, is she trying to get Keiji to look at her? So, what is it? Just ask her out of morbid curiosity. Oh, what a novel idea! Only you could come up with something like that. How 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 is her lying around in a kiddie pool, very 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 revealingly uh, dressed, uh, in a bathing suit? So obviously it's okay. Somehow somehow it makes sense. So apparently it's a, if it's a bathing suit, that's fine. <laughs> logic doesn't really it does logic doesn't really come together click together well, but oh well. No problems with it. Anyway, but how is that supposed to help with the mass driver? So, has it helped you come up with any decent ideas? Hmm. Oh! Is she trying to hit on KG? Stop distracting me with your dirty jokes. You haven't, you haven't thought of it. You haven't thought of anything. Yeah. <laughs> and don't worry, your legs are already pretty widespread. 
Jeez. Fine then. I'm grateful to see you applying yourself and trying to come up with new ideas. Would you have done the same thing if Gramps had been here today? See? You have no respect for my authority at all. It's precise the way you're under underneath me. Yeah, this is just an understanding exercise. Sudden gasp of inspiration there was proof enough that you're making all this up on the spot, you know? <laughs> Honestly. I smell weirdly at Kumiko, who's splashing her legs about in the kiddie pool. After splashing around for a little longer, she suddenly settles down, as if she's already had enough. <laughs> huh? Right idea number two? Let's hear it. So, what were we thinking about? How is that any different? The mass driver for Arne, isn't it? That's right. She'll use several planets on she'll uh she'll use several planets on the way for swing by in order to accelerate in just her trajectory. Then what is it? Ah. Now that she mentioned it, getting her name to space and all I've been thinking about. Anything beyond that, no, I'd consider the mechanics of her journey home, just not her personal feelings. She wants to go back to her home. If her wish of going is going to come true, however, she's got an incredibly lonely journey ahead of herself. When I went to watch the meteor shower on my mom, I wonder what would happen if they, if you were left alone in the void of space. Maybe feel terribly lonely and scared. When I was little, I thought about something like that once. I ended up racking with fear. Probably not in space. <laughs> ah, I wonder. I'll try looking into it. Yeah, but I think you brightened up something, uh, brought up something really important. So, so? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it really was. The only bright idea she came up with. You're so thoughtful, Kumiko. <laughs> Apparently startled with what I just muttered, Kumiko immediately puts her headphones back on. She pretends to be calm, as if nothing happened. She's trying to act like she didn't hear me? What a dreadful actress she is. I, I, though I guess the fact that she wears... Hard on the sleeve like that is what helps her come up with ideas in the first place. I'm truly grateful for that. Alright, I'm going back to work. You should go back soon to you. The immediacy of her reply makes it pretty clear that she's not actually listening to music. Smiling inwardly, I decided to bring up bring up something that just came to mind. By the way, Kumiko. Hmm? Did you put that swimsuit on at home this morning? Hmm. So, did you bring a change of underwear? Uh... She didn't, did she? <laughs> <laughs> wow! My remark makes Kumiko forget all about refreshing herself. And I guess all is well that ends well? <laughs> wow, that was actually kind of mean. Ah, she know, I guess we're going for a little walk with her. No problem. At the beach the other day, I realized again how much fun it's simply going out and spending time with others. 
しかったよね海。That was pretty fun, definitely. Yeah, the sight, the sights were pretty spectacular too. Oh, definitely. But I'll refrain from mentioning that now. Yeah, me too. It's probably a, a conscious decision that neither of us use the words with everyone. What's up? Yeah, sure. I lend Shino a hand as she sits down before standing next to her. We're on a riverfront. There's a cool breeze wafting from the water. It goes a little as it grazes my cheek. Remember? Yeah, I'm not going to forget about that anytime soon. Well, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially after the space parts arrived. Oh, quite a lot of things happened, holy hell. She wraps her arms around her knees. お風呂に入ったり、そういう何でもないことばっかりなの。真剣に本を読んでたり、ぼーっとしてる横顔とか、はっきりと思い出せるの。No wonder, considering you've been taking care of her this entire time. もうすっかり成長して、手がかからなくなっちゃったけどね。it's like two parents just hanging out by the waterfront talking about like, oh, a little, a little baby, a little baby girl, she's all grown up now. <laughs><笑>でも、なんでだろう。私の中のアルネちゃんって、まだまだあの頃のままで残ってて、断るごとにそういう態度で今のアルネちゃんに接して、子供扱いするなって言われて。It's very motherly of her. It's fine. I've been thinking about Arne a lot too lately. Especially about when she first arrived. Yeah. The first thing that sprung to mind when I think of Arne is that angelic look she she used to get when she was sleeping, right after we met her. We look at each other and nod. Is it confirming that we really are experiencing the same emotions? Maybe it's because we're parting ways soon. Wait, when have we become our parents? We laugh together, lots, uh, lost in shared memories, before falling silent. Then, when even the wind has died down. Yeah, it really has. Inadvertently, I blurred out something else. Arna is going to be leaving us very soon. I'm going to miss her. But I do want to make sure we grant a wish. The voice coming from beside me sounds a little shaky. But it might be just me imagining. The sunset is beautiful that night. It dyes everything scarlet. The clouds keep scudding past. And the world is at peace. But Arne is about to leave it and go home. Beyond those skies. Thanks a lot for everything today, Shino. Really help me unwind. Yeah, I knew what you were up to. But, <laughs> 
アレネちゃんのことばっかりだったけど。The Sakura and Tao lives revolve around her. だね。We look at each other and laugh. Our faces bathed in crimson sunlight. And yet. でも、本当に楽しいよね。Yeah. It's such fun. My heart aches a little to hear her say that in the, pre in the present tense. Though there's real warmth in her words. Yeah. Those silly things we went through were tinged with, mom、uh, were tinged with moments of joy and real worry. Our memories of the summer are mixed. They don't fit nearly together like the pieces of a puzzle, but woven together, they do form something beautiful. But I guess that's how our memories do tend to take shape. Yeah, it is almost too perfect. What? Aww. <laughs> What's up, Yoshino? She looks at me so, so tenderly. Must have been unable to hide how fast my heart was beating. Yoshino's face turns bright red then, as if she's speaking up on it. Shino. I'm gonna stand up in a hurry. Shino slips and topples over backwards. I panic and try to catch her. <laughs> of course, the cliche <laughs> of either him falling on top of her or her falling on top of him. <laughs> Are you right, Shino? I managed to get my hands underneath her head in time to keep her from banging it, but then I lose my balance too and tumble down on top of her. Are you hurt anywhere? It's then that I finally realize we're incredibly close. Flustered, I try to move away, but the hand used to protect her, the protector is pinned underneath my, her head. Um, Shino? <laughs> um, I'm not injured at least. That's. The fluttering I felt in my chest a moment is nothing compared to this. My heart's about to burst. <laughs> How long has it been since I lashed Soshina's face up close like this? No, I suppose it happened often enough recently, but. Not like this. Come on, don't look at me like that. Don't say my name. Not like that. Oh, is, is it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? I'm kind of hoping that something happens right now. It's bound to make me lose it. Shino. Say your name too. I wasn't planning to, but it just slipped out. And besides, Shino is. That one soft utterance. She closed her eyes. And here comes Renee to ruin the moment. <laughs> Almost happened, it almost happened. God damn it. Whoa. The sudden voice makes, me, makes us jump. I look up and see Arne waving at us from afar. She looks mad. <laughs> I give a big nod in, in, in assent, and Arne walks off ahead of us. <laughs> right? Oof. We look at each other, both aware that Arne may just have saved us from ourselves. 
it's kind of embarrassing. I ought to, I ought to say something. I'm happy that she came searching for us, but didn't know all she can think about. <laughs> Chino? あのね、小さい時私が家でしようとしてでもできなかったことがあってねその時ここで途方に暮れてたらさケイ君が探して迎えに来てくれたの I don't remember this at all あったよそして今のアルネちゃんみたいに早くご飯が食べたいって一人で先に帰って I remember it now, yeah. At first, I went looking for you on the other side of the bridge, but I couldn't find you. And then I saw you sitting over here. When I tried to go back, the drawbridge started to lift. That's it. Wait, what? I'm sorry, Shino. I just thought of something. I need to go and tell everyone. You should have home with an A. Thanks a lot. See ya. The hasty goodbye. Start running off. Wait. What are you? Oh, probably has to do some of the drawbridge and the angle that drawbridge has at. Me, ooh, ooh. They did say they have that issues of uh, figuring out the angle for this thing. Maybe they're gonna use a drawbridge somehow. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see.